Hey up there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Litheli product. And this one is quite interesting. Well, actually, actually the last one was quite interesting as well. That was this fella, the big power bank. But this one is a folding uh, trolley, which is powered by electric to help you out when you're dragging it. It's very well made. It's currently on Kickstarter. And the price of it, really for what you get, is pretty good. Check out the link in the video description. It's called the E-Wagon. E, obviously standing for electric. And it folds down pretty small. Obviously you could just put this in the back of your car, camper van, in a cupboard, in the house, wherever you wanted to store it. And when you wanted to deploy it, all you do is open it up, like that. Lift the handle, set the speed to what you want it to be, and then press the button. Now the battery sits in here, that's it there, and that is basically the same as the ones that slot into the 1000 power bank. Let's take one out there. Pretty big reasonably hefty it's the equivalent of roughly 20,000 milliamp hours or 74 watt hours and to charge them you can either use an ordinary type c charger which pretty much everybody has now or you can use this fella which is the Litheli power bank to charge it you literally just slap it in there and it automatically charges. See it's got two different spaces for them there. When this one runs out you simply take it out, replace it or charge it, slap it back in and then it's good to go. And on the inside of this little e-wagon thing there's also a couple of pouches where you can put extra batteries. Now the carrying capacity of this is approximately 200 litres which I have no idea what that is in American speak, unfortunately. It's probably some cubic gallons or cups or quarts or some, <laughs> some crazy moon language, you know, which I don't understand. I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. Uh, it's got very strong kind of artificial canvassy sides, which I was surprised at because when I saw this online before agreeing to do the review on it, I thought it looked a little bit yeah you know a little bit cheap but when it arrived I thought that is pretty good you know it's obviously easy wipe waterproof it's got plates in the bottom very solid sides and it all fits together pretty well you know that's a bloody good little wagon the wheels are a reasonable size as well, approximately six to seven inches diameter. God knows what that is in metric, uh, uh, what, 150 to 175 millimeters diameter. And the front wheels have a lock on, so if you park it up, you don't want it to go anywhere, you press that down, and the wheels lock. You want to unlock it, just lift that up. And the handle here will fold away, like that. So when you're folding it up and when you want to deploy it you simply lift it up you hear it click into place and then you can take the wagon wherever you want and then you can either pull it to where you need it to go or you can be helped to take it to wherever you need to go simply by pressing this handle like this I think I've got it set on the highest setting, which is pretty fast. In fact, I'll put the camera down and show you just how fast this will go under its own power. And the self-driving speed can be adjusted here. There's a little twiddly knob there so if you turn it all the way down it will not go as fast oh, and obviously if you have it set on the lowest setting the battery will last a hell of a lot longer now the carrying capacity of this is 60 kilos 
which might not seem like much, but I think it'll actually carry a canny bit more than that. I think the 60 kilos is a little bit pessimistic. And to demonstrate that, I am, oh, I don't know, nearly 90 kilos, probably about 14 stone or roughly 190 to 195 pounds for you guys in the US. That's a lot more than 60 kilos. Can that thing, under its own power, transport a fat man across this drive? Let's see. Yes. Yes, it can. Where this thing would really shine is if you were taking a trip to the beach and you were transporting all your beach gear, your barbecue and everything down to wherever you wanted it to go. Or if you were on a campsite and you wanted to take all your stuff from your car or your camper van to wherever it needed to go. Just pile it all in here, take it out there, fold this thing back up, shove it away back in your car or back in your camper van. Very, very useful for that. But it also comes with a bag of things which make it even more useful for those applications. So got a couple of bungee cords which will allow you to strap on whatever it is you're carrying and ensure that it won't fall off if you go over a rough terrain. You've got two metal rods which fit on the long sides of the wagon. That will allow you to attach those bungee cords to it, but it will also allow you to attach this, which is a, well, I don't know what to call it, maybe it's a synthetic wood tabletop, and then you can just pile everything on here, you can do all your cooking on top of here, you could sit on here, it's a little bonus to have, and that also just clicks on. like so and now you've got a really sturdy table to work from. That's a nice touch because when I agreed with Litheli to take a look at this and feature it on the channel I never even noticed that it had this top on. That's a cracking feature, it's just a nice little bonus. Very heavy battery on top. As you can see it supports it no problem at all. Very handy, well-made e-wagon, which doesn't cost the earth. If you check out the links in the video description, you'll see that prior to launch, or prior to it being able to be sold on retail sites such as Amazon and so on, the price is pretty good. And it does have the added bonus of being able to accommodate the Litheli battery, which doesn't come with this. Litheli batteries will be able to power a future line of products that they're going to release which will include a hedge trimmer, a grass trimmer, a strimmer sort of thing, a lawnmower and a hedge cutter, well, what else, there's numerous battery powered garden tools which I am actually very interested in, I would love to take a look at those because they run from these batteries. So you take this lad out, pile all your tools in it with your battery, uh, if you've got a garden the size of mine you'll carry it right to the far side of the garden with all your tools and everything in and you're good to go for the rest of the day you know it's just constantly charging batteries as you're using the other batteries it's really I don't know it's just a, a good well thought out sort of system and I'm really interested to see what their garden tools are like as soon as they become available on Amazon or even on Kickstarter I think I'm going to be buying some of those because I do need a new strimmer a new hedge cutter would be good because mine is old and knackered and my big pole hedge cutter, it's about knackered as well, you know, so yeah, I would be interested in taking a look at their other things. But for the purposes of this video, this e-wagon is good and if I was a product that I've looked at so far, have been good 
and I have featured them on this channel which is the thousand yard stair channel and also on my other channel at a later date which is the pond guru channel when companies ask me to take a look at things I will only ever take a look at something that I think I will genuinely use and I do see a time when I will genuinely use this when those garden tools become available because you'll just have the full set it'll be absolutely awesome you know I'm really really looking forward to that this thing if I was a carp fisherman which a lot of you guys in the US won't understand but if I was a carp fisherman in the UK I would have one of these in a heartbeat because carp fishermen transport so much crap uh, gear around with them that they actually need a wheelbarrow to take it down to the water's edge. They've got the bivvies, they've got numerous rods, they've got all the gear that goes with that, they've got the camping stuff, the sleeping stuff, all of that would fit in here. Take it down, fold this thing up, put it in your bivvy once you set your bivvy up, and then when you're finished fishing, hoy everything back in here and take it back away. So much better than those big wheelbarrows I see you guys using. You know, this is a real option for carp fishermen and also for anybody who likes enjoying the beach life as well. Unfortunately, I live way inland from the beach, so beach life isn't really my thing. If I was going down more regularly, I would certainly have a camper van and I would also have one of these fellas. Reference, you saw the panel that I had set up. That's an all powers 100 watt panel. I'm not sure whether Lithelli do one, I'm, I'm sure they probably do or will do in the future. But that one's a 100 watt panel. We are coming towards the middle of October in the far north of England. It's reasonably sunny today and it's producing about 60 watts. So that's about average for what you'd expect from a 100 watt panel up here at this time of year. All the power's going into here charging these batteries up and I can just use them for whatever I choose to use them for whether it's the little e-wagon or in the future I'll certainly be using the tools that Lithelli are going to produce on the garden it's coming to the time of year when I need to do a hell of a lot of maintenance and I just wish those tools were available now I don't know when they're coming out but I'll put a link links to everything Lithelli related in the video description and also in the pinned comment here um, there is a dedicated video for this power bank, which is absolutely excellent. To be honest, um, that is the reason why I agreed to do the reviews on these products. At the time, I wasn't really too bothered about this little e-wagon thing because being a prepper, I'm like, I'm all about power storage. I just want to take a look at this, great, and then I can use it in the future. The fact that it is going to be used for my garden tools in the future is an excellent added bonus. That's great. This thing was a secondary concern to me. And uh, you know, as I say, I do, I'm just being totally honest here. But after taking a look at this, I think it's great value. And certainly for carp fishermen, it could be a really, really valuable tool. It could save you a lot of time and effort, you know. It is very good. So if anybody's interested in this, check out the links. Thanks for everybody who's wondering about how quick it is to put this thing away. I shall demonstrate that now. To put away very simple to redeploy. That's a canny load of wood. Well over 60 kilos in there. Probably nearer 80 to 100 kilos. grass I hear you say well it just so happens I've got some grass it's not the hardest of grass because it has been raining over the last few days but we shall give it a go
sour. No problem at all. Get this lad back in. Give it another try. Everything seems good to me and that's left pretty deep ruts in my lawn so there's obviously a canny bit of weight in that fella certainly more than is meant to be carried but I like to test things properly <laughs> now at the risk of breaking it what about all those logs that I had in before plus a fat man being driven under the power only coming from the battery nobody's pulling this as you can see, <laughs> oh, this might break it. Look at that, man. <laughs> it does what it says on the tin and more. Now, just a quick note for anybody who saw the video on the power bank. I filmed that before I had an attachment from my solar panel to the power bank. It comes with various attachments and so on, but it didn't, well, at least this one, pre-production, didn't come with a standard Anderson socket on here or any sort of adapter. So I managed to get an adapter to take it from the XT60 fitting to, no, sorry, from the standard solar Anderson sort of type fittings to an XT60 fitting. That allows me to charge this thing up from the solar panel. Obviously it charges a hell of a lot faster from the mains. From zero to 100%, it charges in around about an hour, which is absolutely phenomenal. I think the input's about 1400 watts or something crazy like that, you know? But you certainly can charge this thing from a solar panel. So that's just a little, uh, a little bit more information if you'd watched that last video. Watching, I'll see you in the next video.